Ukrainian elite troops destroyed dozens of Russian military tanks in battle on Christmas Day. The Ukrainian Ministry of Defense has released a video showing a Russian tank being destroyed, with the country reporting that 3,016 Russian tanks have been lost since the start of the war. The ministry's Twitter account shared the video on Tuesday. The footage opens with a long-distance view of a tank billowing smoke and clearly on fire then gives a closer look in which the heavily damaged tank can be seen burning. Later in the video, several soldiers can be seen walking through a wooded area and experiencing an apparent strike of some kind. That section of the video was set to jaunty music, and the soldiers were apparently part of the Russian forces. Every Russian tank will definitely find a Ukrainian soldier who is going to knock it out, Ukrainian Defense Ministry tweeted. The ministry also shared its figures on Russian combat losses since the beginning of the war in February. Those numbers showed that Russia has lost 3,016 tanks to date, as well as 103,220 personnel and 6,024 armored combat vehicles, among other losses. I've got a theory that if you give 100% all of the time, somehow things will work out in the end, the ministry tweeted, quoting American basketball star Larry Bird. The video showing the tank's destruction comes as the UK Ministry of Defense reported on Tuesday that Russia's First Guards tank army was probably amongst the Russian forces recently deployed to Belarus. This formation was likely conducting training before its deployment and is unlikely to have the support units needed to make it combat ready, the ministry said in its intelligence update on Twitter. Over the last 48 hours, fighting has remained focused around the Bakhmut sector of Donetsk Oblast and near Svatov in Luhansk. Russia continues to initiate frequent small-scale assaults in these areas, although little territory has changed hands. On December 8, the UK Defense Ministry reported that the supposedly elite First Guards tank army took heavy casualties earlier in the war, including during the retreat from Kharkiv Oblast in September 2022. It has now been partially reinforced with mobilized reservists, although remaining well below its authorized strength of 25,000 personnel, the ministry said. On Monday, the Institute for the Study of War (ISW) said in its latest assessment of the conflict that Russian President Vladimir Putin is likely concerned over the lack of support for the Ukraine war among members of Russia's elite. Citing a speech Putin delivered to the Russian people on Christmas Day, in which he criticized some Russians for not acting like true patriots, the ISW said Putin's instant criticism of some members of society suggests that he is focused on those who do not fully support the war rather than on those who do. Meanwhile, Russia has been forced to reinforce its defenses on the front line around Kremina, according to British military intelligence. Ukrainian officials have said their country's armed forces are putting pressure on Russian units in the area, forcing them to retreat from the city. Kremina is considered the gateway to Severodonetsk and Lysikansk, the two Donbass cities captured by Russian forces earlier this year in a grueling and costly military campaign. British defense officials have claimed Russian forces tasked with defending the city are in an increasingly vulnerable position. In recent days, Russia has likely reinforced the Kremina sector of its front line in Luhansk Oblast as it comes under continued pressure from Ukrainian operations, the Ministry of Defense said on Wednesday in its daily intelligence briefing. Kremina has been relatively vulnerable since Ukrainian forces advanced through the town of Lyman to the west in October. 
Russia has constructed extensive new defenses in the area and will likely prioritize holding the line here. Recapturing Kremena and nearby Svatov could help provide Ukraine's military with a springboard for future assaults into the Donbass. Liberation of the towns would give Ukraine control of major highways leading to the industrial hubs of Severodonetsk and Lysykansk. Syriai Haidai, the regional governor of Luhansk, said earlier this week that Russian forces had withdrawn to Rubizn, a few miles to the southeast of Kremena. The Russians understand that if they lose Kremena, their entire line of defense will fall, he wrote on the Telegram messaging app on Tuesday. The Russian occupation troops managed to build a very powerful defense in a month, even a little more. They are bringing there a huge amount of reserves and equipment. They are constantly renewing their forces. The Russian military has fortified its position in the area, erecting defensive barriers across hundreds of miles on the eastern front line. On Monday, Volodymyr Zelensky, Ukraine's president, said, the situation there is difficult, acute. The occupiers are using all resources available to them and these are significant resources to squeeze out at least some advance. Vitaly Kaislyov, a Russian-installed official in occupied Luhansk, said the situation around Kremena and Svatov was very tense. Ой, не, когда мы посмотрим.